People want to know about the Natalie and Tyra tea. So um, I'm going to start and let you know. first off the bat too because that's, like, that's, like, right? that's like the number one that's thing. like a number one or should we say it for last no we should do it now what I thought about it okay so first of all you already knew that I wasn't feeling Natalie right on the show in real life like as of now shout out to Natalie she's beautiful she's a wife yes. her best life she's not concerned about the show she's unbothered and by highly any of this even okay so. <laughs> she's highly faithful. the girl is living good So there's a certain like respect that you give another individual living in the house. Natalie in the house for me was hella annoying. Period. Like yeah. it was just like, oh I like we'll be talking about a completely different topic. Natalie will come in and be like, Oh, I don't I don't have to flush my toilet when I'm in my house. I just leave I just leave it there. I swear. Why lie? And I would just be like, How is this relevant? It would just be and it was very much like Oh, I live this best life, this amazing life. My dad and my family, I don't need to do anything. Yes. We're good, we're well taken care of. And that's great. I'm not that, right? Cool. But I'm not sitting here telling you about my struggles and my hardship. Guys, I mean, I could, like, nope, put it aside. <laughs> Come corrected. I'm, I'm the truth teller, okay? So, Come corrected. So it was like, listen, she was a bad bitch. Give her all props. But I felt so that elimination, she caught, like, and also she had anxiety issues. That's another side topic that you guys weren't aware of. So she had really serious anxiety issues yeah. and would have panic attacks. Her anxiety would be really high during the show. So when this got eliminated, sis being Natalie, she went off. She read Miss J. She was like, Miss J, you and the stupid bow tie. Like, why would I need to, why you don't even give us good critique? You know, you're just here for commentary. You just make comment and you just look stupid with your tie growing bigger and bigger and bigger. So that hit, that caught me off guard. Then she went to Nigel. She said some shit. Then she went to Paulina. Shout out to Paulina. I love Paulina. Paulina literally went to each judge one by one. And and then she went to Tyra and was like, Tyra, when will I ever need to be the color orange? This is the stupidest shoot ever. Like as a model, I don't need to be a color. Like you make us do, yeah. you make us do dumb shit. Pretty much, this is what she said. Not quote. I'm not quoting her, but like the gist. I and my mouth. <laughs> you know, I got a big ass mouth. My mouth. Gaping. So collecting all the flies, all the <laughs> collecting everything. Hey. Wow, this chick. She left that. What did you air out the room type deal? She was like, "I'm just gonna say it now." So literally, she read everyone. She read Nigel. She read Tyra. She read Paulina, and she read Miss J. She read everybody. She was like pretty much so upset that she was going home, but also I think she was just fed up with the whole show. And I think the whole Brazil because this was the shoot for the favelas when we were Carmen Miranda. Yeah when she went home so for me i was pissed off right because i'm just like let that be me going off and telling these judges they ain't shit because literally that's what natalie did she went off one by one and told every judge how they're not shit <laughs> i'm reading these comments everyone's like yeah like, this is what they wanted <laughs> and i was so tight i promise you on everything i love i was so tight they didn't air that shit 